Introducing first directly in front of me, hailing from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 188 pounds, pro wrestling savior, the one, J.T. Dunn. His opponent, to my right, hailing from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in tonight at 80 kilos, Tiger Style, Lee Moriarty! Well, what a surprise, what a surprise, Johnny Torres. No Alec Price tonight, but JT Dunn returning to Limitless Wrestling just one month ago, and now he's back here tonight at Undeniable. First time ever encounter with Tiger Style, Lee Moriarty. You know, it's no secret that JT Dunn seen quite a bit of a layoff from Limitless Wrestling. What an opportunity here to just reinsert himself into the upper echelon of the Limitless Wrestling picture. You're damn right. This would be a huge victory for either competitor. Lee Moriarty's first time in front of the Limitless Faithful. And it still blows me away, Johnny Torres, the reception some of these wrestlers get. I think we were talking about it off air earlier today. People like Love Doug, Becca Lasho, and now tonight, Lee Moriarty, a hell of a reaction. People excited to see him finally in person. It's awesome to see and quite a test in front of him here tonight. JT Dunn who claims Limitless Wrestling is the house that Dunn built. No doubt about it. Lee Moriarty on the other side of the coin hailed currently as potentially the best independent wrestler in all of North America. JT Dunn always one to take exception with a statement like that. Believes pound for pound he is the best of the best of the best anywhere in the world today. And he's continued to prove it, especially throughout the years inside a Limitless Wrestling ring. This is really reminiscent, in my opinion, of when JT wrestled Jonathan Gresham a few years ago at Problematic. Find that in the IWTV archives. But at that time, Gresham, top of the independence, was touted as the top technical wrestler in North America. And look at who we have today, mm -hmm. Lee Moriarty, who, you ask anybody, I think Lee Moriarty, he's either near the top of the list or he's at the top of their list. Yeah, and he's rising fast if he's not at the top of it. JT as, quickly going behind. As studied as they come when it comes to reversals and counters on counters on counters. And he's got the arm of JT Dunn in his possession. Wrist control could be very important throughout this thing. JT able to trap him down to the canvas. Lee Moriarty, though, not feeling like a fish out of water down here like some may. Nah, no, not at all. Oh, might be working towards Yushigata May. Now fighting for the cross arm breaker. Fighting for it. Done. Hands clasped. Fighting for the roll up here, but Moriarty managing to keep a shoulder off the canvas here. Now done. Transitioning into the toe hold. But feeling it in the wrists a bit. This could be trouble for Lee Moriarty. Keeping his shoulders off the canvas all while trying to find a way out. He's got the leg loose. Look at this. Moriarty turning himself over. Airborne now. And he's got control of the head. Beautiful. Now his reversal game, his counter game, it continues to blow my mind. It's untouchable. JT done now. Forced to try to find a way out. He's got the legs up, but Lee Moriarty quickly pushing those off, maintaining his grip around the skull of the one pro wrestling savior, JT Dunn. Oh, but quickly done. That's how you have to be with Lee Moriarty. It has to be instant. Thinking about it now, these might be two like the two best phase shifters in all of pro wrestling to go from striking to submissions to grappling back to high flying. That's a great way to put it. I can't think of two that do it better. Oh, there we are. Wow. Moriarty, oh, quickly though, JT Dunn, like you said. Oh, trapping him into a cover. Could have ended quickly. Moriarty turns it over. Another two count from Nate Speckman, and we are at a standoff here at Undeniable. First time ever here tonight as JT Dunn going one-on-one -on -one with Lee Moriarty. Both men resetting. About to start a new stanza here, deciding exactly how they're going to approach their opponent. Back to a vertical base for the first time in a while. Right. Moriarty shaping up Dunn. Of course, you have to be careful with the quick elbow strikes of JT Dunn when he's standing upright. 
Might have been why Moriarty was going after the arm in the on early onset of this contest, trying to neutralize that elbow. That'd be a smart idea. These two locking horns once again. Moriarty twisting out. Looked like a hammer lock right there. Not keeping it long. Going all around JT Dunn into the snapmare. And Dunn back to his feet. Back and forth we go here tonight in Yarmouth, Maine. Ooh! That's going to hurt. For every one answer JT Dunn had, Lee Moriarty had three or four. And Moriarty's walking around the ring with some swagger here tonight. Feeling himself here in Yarmouth, Maine. And JT at his own pace back inside the ring. I mean, Lee Moriarty knows what kind of statement beating a guy like JT Dunn would make for him. You know, JT Dunn throughout Limitless history has been a, a consistent player near the top. That he has, and Lee Moriarty is the type of competitor always doing his homework on what's to come. But tonight, it's a different story. How much could he prepare for JT Dunn with all the preparation that he did for Alec Price in the weeks leading up to this contest? Could that put him at a disadvantage as JT trying to put his strength to the test here, trying to force down the shoulders of Moriarty? He can only get a two count. Oh, kicking the legs away. Moriarty once again fighting to get that shoulder up. Nate Speckman not even moving, staying so focused on the pinning combinations here from Dunn. And now he's going to use some pressure. Down he goes. Moriarty bridging up so impressive. JT able to neutralize the bridge, but Moriarty reversing momentum. Shoes on the other foot. Dunn able to get that shoulder up. Moriarty powers it down. Dunn up once again. And now Dunn testing the bridge. Anything you can do, I can do better. And Moriarty says, let's, let's get back to a vertical base. That's not going to work for him. And Dunn looking to find a way out, and I think he has. Ducking through the ropes, Lee Moriarty breaking the grip, and JT Dunn takes advantage. Severe damage to that left arm. And his shoulder could be dislocated at this point. That was a rough landing for Moriarty, and Dunn knows it. And now just wrenching on that left arm. Doesn't want to give it up just yet. Moriarty in a tough position, though. Trying to get his feet under him, trying to get back up, and he does. But Dunn keeping a firm grip on the arm. Moriarty, what strength from this dude. Breaking the grip of JT Dunn, and JT trying to transition. Ooh! Dominal stress position. And JT applying even more pressure. Trying to get deep on that thing, and Moriarty, you can see the hand moving. Trying to power himself out, now Dunn going behind. Moriarty recognizes that escaping submissions isn't always a short game, sometimes it's a long game. Sometimes you have to wait for them to make a mistake and Dunn kicking out the leg of Moriarty. And now he's got the leg, oh no, around the head. Had the leg trapped. And now just grabbing any body part possible to tie this dude up like a pretzel. But Moriarty with the remaining free limb. Yeah, I don't think you can tie him off. No. That'd be impressive if he can. And Dunn right back to work. That top rope continuing to do some damage. Oh, and what a thud right there from Dunn. Such a heavy-handed individual, such, such stiff strikes from this dude all the time. Moriarty tried to push away to get some space, but Dunn is right there. Moriarty continuing. Oh no, that was off the top turn, but the Moriarty just crumbling in pain as JT Dunn in control. Continues to try to defend that arm to no avail. JT Dunn just so, so scientific, so surgical. JT's got to know how much offense he's killing right now, Ali Moriarty, by implementing the attack on that arm. No, no doubt. How much can you do fighting as a one-armed man? Yarmouth coming alive for Lee Moriarty, trying to provide that spark, the energy for Moriarty to get back to his feet, and maybe they have. Oh! oh! Just like that. Arm for an arm. And taking JT overhead. Tripped him up. What a kick from Moriarty. An impressive combination. Vintage combo. Yeah. Whoa! 
Thought about death by elbow right there, but Moriarty catching him with a quick cross body. He anticipated the DBE, and now Moriarty looking to charge, and he caught him with a kick in the corner. Dunn staggered on Dream Street. Oh, Lee. Double stomp through the goddamn ring. Dunn might be out. Oh, so close. What a battle. What a battle indeed, Lee Moriarty turned it on right there. Lee Moriarty. And now Dunn's in trouble. Moriarty, wrist in hand. He's got the arm hooked, but Dunn. Woo he usually doesn't get a response to those. We haven't seen Lee's striking get tested by JT just yet. Dunn rips him backwards, oh. pulls through. Look for the elder Tay, but once again, punted in the arm. Takes it around. Might have been thinking Devil on DDT, caught with the cutter. Dunn smashed him into the canvas. Only a two count from Nate Speckman. What a battle we're seeing here at Undeniable. First time ever encounter between Dunn and Moriarty. Dunn getting that game face back on, knowing that the end might be near. And now I think he's signaling death by elbow. Wants to put this one away for good. Moriarty back to his feet. Dunn cocked and loaded. No connection right there, though, but some connection right there. Back elbow. Moriarty boots the arm away. Takes it around, hammerlock position. Pepsi twist on his damn head. My God, Dunn may be out right here. Shoots Cover. the half. Two. Oh! And did you notice that Lee Moriarty shaking his hand as he tried to implement the cover right there, could not keep the leg hooked. And you wonder if that's the difference from a two and a three count. Right there with you. Moriarty. Summoning the remaining energy he has. He's still got something left in the tank. Connecting with a shot right there. Is he thinking backslide? Oh, nope. he's got done elevated now. Gory bomb position. Oh, and look at the bend on the arms. Stretching out JT Dunn. Ah. But I don't think he could hold on forever. What a shot right there. Those well-refined boxing elbows of JT Dunn. Moriarty returning fire. Yeah, we're firing at the arms here. Typically you'll see an exchange, maybe to the side of the head, maybe to the top of the head. An uppercut connecting right there. Now they've transitioned from the arms upwards. Going right for the knockout, going right for the kill. Wow, picking up speed. Woo. Oh, and Moriarty landing a big one. God. Knee to the noggin, catching the shot. Jumping knee, crumpling JT Dunn. Moriarty measuring JT. Death by elbow. Just like that. Battle Chief.